everybody. Welcome to Quarantine 12. <laughs> We're all quarantined, but not by ourselves. Not anymore. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, we got another $100. Who's ready to win? Holler, holler in the live chat now. Holler, holler. Oh. <laughs> Let's get at it now. Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig. Thank you so much for joining me on this quarantine live stream number 12. Whew. Happy Saturday night out there, everybody. I hope you are doing spectacular. Mm. Who we got in here? Some. Oh, everybody's hollering. I love the hollering. Yes. Yes, Tegan in here. Alex, how's it going? Drifter, Trey. Tanner, great to see you. Young Casanova, it's great to have you in here again. Demon Gamer, that's what I'm talking about. Welcome back, Tegan. Hey, Eric, how's it going? Ray Gatlin in the house. Everybody's hollering. Yes, Rubbish for Riches back in here. Governor Brown, yo, what's up? Wolf Fang, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Kenneth, thank you for coming back in. Thank you for that note today as well. Patrick Izzo, how's it going? Holler. Holler, holler, $100 up for grabs tonight on Ariat.com. That is, of course, only for those of you in the United States of America. Sorry, all of the international folks out there, but I was only able to get $100 for the Americans out here. Hey, 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 question marks back in the house. Dennis Korbowski, good to see you again. Hey, Tommy, how's it going? Driver, how's it going? Rand, Tom. Awesome. Chuck, how's it going, everybody? Yo, welcome. Quarantine 12. We're all here and not by ourselves anymore. <laughs> Let's get right into it with another giveaway here because why not? Let's have fun here. Okay, so we're going to start off this first giveaway with what we have been giving away this whole time. These special edition Twisted Willow Fabrication Boots and Ballads bottle openers. So that's one thing up for grabs right now. That's also the CD is included and a nice teal boot wallet or phone wallet, whatever you wish to call it or wherever you wish to use it. That one's from Wallaroo. So you guys know how this works. I'm going to put comment now in the live chat and every comment after that is entered to win and then after i'm done playing the song i'm going to go through and choose one of you based off of a random number generator comment yes let's do this thing and i'm going to put up my little comment icon for those of uh, for those of you who come in after and are coming in during the song mm, 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 mm. okay so let's get down to it Let's play some music. I'm bringing the harmonica out. Bringing the harmonica out. Where, where'd you put put my pick, Internet? There it is. All right. <laughs> a story about a man who found himself in some serious debt and he decided to start a little side hustle a not so legal one depending on where you are from yes in order to get out of debt this man became a gigolo So this is the origin story. It's called Nights and Weekends. Eighty-five thousand in debt, 
So many regrets he can't count them on his hands and toes Another late notice from Alice the mad lady She got eyes for him to cure his woes He says, how about I come on over tonight? It looked like you're in need of a good time At first he declines But then she flashed a penny and it changed his mind Oh, those Benjamin Franklins will do it every time See, Alice was nothing special She looked like a pear in a plastic bag And with a few decades of driving mail Places of her began to sag But after he accepted the offer His face turned one of the deepest shades of red A big smile came to her face She touched his cheek and then she said You don't need no candles now You don't need no wine You don't need your bed made up with those linens so fine I'm only asking of you for just one thing He said, it's good, but in the future Nights and weekends is the time to call Yeah, okay The night was heavy on him As he got ready for the arrival of Alice And even though he really didn't have to He shaved to have a nice smooth <clears throat> And when the night was over She said, you know, I got some friends Who'd be into that kind of thing You need help and you can help them Speak up, boy, now what do you think? You don't need no candles, no You don't need no wine You don't need your bed made up with those linen so fine if they ask for you they're asking for just one thing he said you tell them nights and weekends is the time to call me and then his phone started ringing it started buzzing it started tweeting oh all the notifications were coming through and it kind of sounded like an improvised harmonica solo yeah Pick it up now. He got himself out of debt with no regrets except for one, but he got that cured. It was awful, Alice on her roots every day. She was out there spreading the word. He was booked high for the first two years. That is until he raised his price. Now you better have big money. If you wanna head on over to his place tonight, now he buys the candles, yeah, and he buys the wine. He's got his bed made up with those linens so fine. And if you ask for him, you asking for just one thing, but remember that nights and weekends is the time to call. Yeah, all right now. Nights and weekends, ha <laughs> All right, we're starting it off a little bit raunchy. <laughs> all right, all right, we're stopping it there. We're stopping it there. Boom, 49 folks in here already. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. We gotta pick a winner right here, right now. It's gonna be out of 50. going to be out of 50 so here we go okay gonna go from the top 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 Tanner Towns Tanner Towns yo congratulations congratulations you get the boots and ballads 
bottle opener from Twisted Willow Fabrication, a Wallaroo boot wallet or phone wallet, and my first CD called Gardener Hands. Congratulations, Tanner. Be sure to email me, and we will get this stuff in the mail on Monday. Put my email in the live chat right now. Only Tanner should email me for his winnings. <laughs> <laughs> Where is my poncho? It's right here. It's right here, Tanner. This is my poncho. Now, I know the poncho thing on Wednesday, on April Fool's Day, was an April Fool's joke, but I seriously love ponchos. Like, whenever I'm editing the boot videos or whatever, I'm just hanging out around the house, I'm wearing my poncho. I love ponchos. That thing is like my favorite go-to comfortable clothing. I don't really care about sweatpants. I'll put the poncho on first. The poncho is my go-to comfort clothing. You want to you want to you want to level up your uh sweatsuit comfort game? You get a poncho and you throw that on top of it. You've never known comfort until you do that. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Oh, you guys are the best. It's great to have you in here. Okay, okay. How's it going? Poncho and socks. It's all you need, Midnight <laughs> I guess technically you can't get arrested if you do that. <laughs> You're still covered. But let's not talk about that. <laughs> let's not give anybody any ideas. All right, so this is what we're talking about today, okay? With all of this fear of the contagious nature of the world right now, I thought it would be productive to talk about bringing contagious joy to people around cowboy boots. So that's what we're going to talk about today. <laughs> I know, it seems a little ridiculous to talk about spreading contagious joy for cowboy boots, but it's something that I've experienced full firsthand, and I think that several of you are up to the task as well. So basically, I boiled down three different ways for you to spread contagious joy for cowboy boots. But first, I want to rewind the tape a little bit and go off of what we were talking about yesterday with the practicality of cowboy boots. Once I realized how practical cowboy boots were for my life and how good they looked, how great they made me feel, it was just a spiritual experience. You guys have heard me talk about the spiritual experience. Once I experienced all that, I became a boot evangelist. I was spreading the joy for Boots. I would be so excited about Boots, I would end up taking my friends to the local boot store, Davis Trailer World, and we would get boots. Like, I would just take my friends shopping. I wouldn't usually leave with some boots, but I was like, we gotta go. Like, I was basically the person that took <laughs> Davis Trailer World there <laughs> They're customers sometimes, and I feel like I still need a commission for that. I got to write a note about that, but still, sidetracking. I would take my friends to Davis Trailer World and friends' friends to Davis Trailer World and help them get their boots from Miss Davis. And it ended up being this contagious thing. Like, my joy would then transfer to somebody else, and they would be excited about cowboy boots. And then it would be like this chain effect. And you can do that too, especially with the way that we need to combat the current contagions that are out in the world right now. So here are three things that you can do to help spread the contagious joy of cowboy boots. One, talk to people about your boots whenever they bring them up, even if they're making fun of you or busting your balls about it. Talk to them. Spread the contagious joy. 
Talk to him in a joyful way. It's like, yeah, these are my boots. I got them from Davis Trailer World. You can't believe all of this and this and that and this. Ostrich leather, like, whew, love it because of all of these reasons. It's fun. It's fun to spread contagious joy like that. Number two, take your friends to boot stores. Now, this isn't something that we can do right now, but I was thinking about how maybe you could shop for cowboy boots online with your friends, but the, the experience just isn't the same. There is nothing that equals actually going to a boot store. It's an experience in it of itself, and it if you have friends that haven't experienced that, you have to take them. Even if you guys don't plan on buying anything, you just say, hey, let's go to uh, Beth West this afternoon and I wanna show you all the boots that they have. And you walk in there and it's like this rush of leather and there's all of these different styles, all of these different colors, it's an adrenaline rush. And that's something that is fun to share with people, even if they are not boot wearers. Everyone gets that rush. Every single person. You guys can't believe the, the stores that I walk into and I do these quick impressions. Like sometimes people will walk in there and just peruse around and they'll just pick up some boots and they'll be like, can you imagine me wearing this <laughs> to their friends and stuff? And it's just like this energy where people get excited around boots. So you can't do it online so when this whole thing is over you have to take your friends to boot stores for them to actually get excited and have that adrenaline rush that is the last straw like that is it and then once you take them to a boot store it's like if they're not into it then they'll never be <laughs> so third thing that you can do to spread the contagious joy of cowboy boots is share the stories of your boots now if you've had a pair of boots long enough you know you have stories about them just like i have stories about my first boulets right yeah they're all cracked because of a gasoline spill um you know six resoles uh it's formed my foot like this is you could just keep on going with the stories and the stories and the stories about how you got all of those little things in these little areas on your boot and you can do that anywhere. You can do that online, you can do that in person. Um, people don't realize the connections and stories that are built around a pair of boots because they don't realize how long they actually last. And when you have a pair of footwear for five, 10, 15, 20 years, they tend to get stories attached to them, share those stories. Even if you think they're stupid, they are interesting, I promise you. I thought all of the stories that were around my boots were stupid and no one would ever wanna hear about them. And then I made a YouTube channel. <laughs> and you guys, you guys have proved to me that people actually find this stuff interesting. So I'm, I'm all about number three, share the stories around your boots. So that's the three things to help spread the contagious joy of cowboy boots. Talk to people about their, talk to people about your boots, even if they're busting your balls. Take your friends to boot stores and share the stories around your boots. What do you guys think? Are there any other things that we can do to help spread the contagious joy of cowboy boots, let me know in the live chat right now. Trey says, I don't think people understand how comfortable boots are. I would totally agree with you. People are like, that can't be comfortable, right? I tried a pair of boots once and they weren't comfortable at all. Well, it's probably because you had the wrong size. Just people don't know how to size People don't know how cowboy boots should fit. So once you get used to the way that cowboy boots should fit, uh, then it's like, oh, this is what it's like. This is what you're experiencing. Does anyone else shower in their boots? <laughs> I've never showered in my boots. <laughs> I can imagine that, yeah, it would be quite a way to break in a, a new pair though. <laughs> Yo. 
Tom asks where where you were wearing your boots when I when I met my wife. Yes, I was wearing boots when I met what I I met my wife. I think they I don't remember which pair. Probably my either my black boulets or my brown boulets. Um but yeah. Yes. I was definitely wearing boots. Governor Brown says, wear your boots at all times and ignore the haters. True that. <laughs> your dog just took one of your boots out in the rain? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Spread the contagious joy of cowboy boots. Bandit is a daily boot wearer. Anyone else? Me. Way to go, Bandit. <clears throat> See, Burgess's niece asked to get a pair of boots. Now she has a pair. Yes. Yes, you're sharing that contagious joy. <laughs> Talk to people about your boots Talk to all ages Tell them the stories and take them to the stores And you'll make boots contagious Yeah, yeah. Make boots contagious out there Church and Sundays, that's what I'm talking about. Octavio delivers the pizza wearing Ariats. Yes. <laughs> Love it. What a that's like the best way to spread contagious joy is just walk up to everybody. Hey, here's some pizza and look at my boots. Maybe that will increase your tips next time. <laughs> I don't know. Laredo Snip Toes, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, hey, guys, I forgot to tell you. So, I got a message from Mermaid Mom of Twins here on YouTube. She actually won the JW Boot Company Boot Giveaway in February. Um, she was one of the three winners because we had three people walk away with boots from that live stream. So, she just got her boots and she sent me a video of her opening them for the first time. So I want to share this with you guys because it's so cool. And she put it up on her YouTube too. Her YouTube is uh, Mermaid Mom of Twins. Hi, my name's Mercedes. And I'm really excited about these JW boots that I got from the JW Boot Company. Um, I won them on a giveaway from Jeremiah Craig. Oh my goodness, they're so pretty. They're like exactly what I thought they would be. Um, I thought they were actually, actually not exactly. I thought they were going to be a little more black. But now that I see them, they're, they're a little more of a dark brown. I don't know if you can see that well. Oh, I love it. Looks but so good. But the design on it is gorgeous. together and I'm going to try them on and I will hopefully either have this on the end of this video or on the next video cool oh man thank you so much Mercedes for sending me that video and congrats again I love your choice what a great pair of boots that you chose from JW boot company wow love the inlay <laughs> 
That is so cool. Thank you so much for that. And uh, yeah, if you guys didn't think that people actually ended up with pairs of boots who won, they do. So <laughs> this is a real thing. <laughs> I love it. It's so much fun to see this happen. I would have never imagined. This is great. And we're going to have more winners tonight. $100 gift certificate to Ariat.com. Like this, I, I'm so happy that I am in this spot right here to be able to, you know, give this stuff out. It's so great. And it makes my day, makes my month, it makes my year, makes my life. I love it. So let's do it because what can you get for $100 on Ariat.com? Well, you can get some jeans and some other types of apparel but you could also get a pair of boots for a significantly discounted price i mean most of their boots are running around like 150 to 200 you could get a new pair of boots for either 50 to 100 dollars that's not bad that's not bad at all so let's do it let's have the this is the last 100 though, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of regretting this because that means it's all over. It means that I don't have any more hundred dollars to give away. But it's not gonna stop me. <laughs> so in addition to what we are doing right now, we're giving away $100 for Ariat.com and a Twisted Willow Fabrication Boots and Bottles, Boots and Pallets bottle opener. So many Bs there and also my CD, Gardener Hands. That's what's up for grabs. Wallet, bottle opener, CD, and of course, the $100 for Ariat.com. Let's do it. Let's do it. Comment now. <clears throat> and if you guys are just coming in, how it works is you comment, not too much spam, please. And then after I'm done playing this song, I'm going to choose the winner using a random number generator and either work up from the top or the bottom um, counting the comments. All right. So here's a little song about Arizona. I wrote this when I lived in Arizona. I wasn't really excited about wine, especially pink wine. But then I went to these wineries in Arizona with my wife. It was a completely new experience because I tasted the wine that they'd made in Arizona. And it was really good. Like it tasted like desert smells and tasted like all of these great fruits. It was good stuff. And then I started playing at the wineries and they were so nice too. So I wrote them a song. This is a song about Arizona wine. It's called Dusty Vines. <laughs> This has been the land of the fighters since we learned what it offered And it's always rewarded the tough Yeah, these vines would make those old gunfighters proud Surviving no matter how rough Yes, it, this old desert, you gotta take what you can get And get while the getting's good on the land When the hard winds are bringing the rain from the south You can get clusters that fit in both hands Yes, I raise my glass up high Yes, I raise my glass to the sky And toast to the whole desert away Yes, the west is still wild When you look on it for miles But there's a new kind 
in the gold rush this time Bring in the riches straight to your lips It's the wine from these dusty veins It's the wine from these dusty veins, yeah Blood of the land is in the body of the West, and you can tell around harvest time. Yeah, the fruits of labor make it a grand one to savor, along with the struggle in the vine. You can make it on down to the Cochise County line with the arid air in your nose. Taste the toils and the triumphs and feel the trails of the migrants without leaving to see where it grows. And I'll raise my glass up high. Yes, I'll raise my glass to the sky and toast to the whole desert away. Oh, yes, the west is still wild when you look on it for miles. And there's a new kind of gold rush this time Bring in the riches straight to your lips It's the wine from these dusty veins It's the wine from these dusty veins Yeah, yeah, all right now I'm going up on the mesa with my dusty vino And I'm watching the sun go down I'll revel in the land's beauty and the wine in the glass And the fact that it came from its ground And I'll raise my glass up high Yes, I'll raise my glass to the sky And toast to the whole desert away It's the wine from these dusty vines, yeah. It's the wine from these dusty vines. Yeah. Dusty vines, that is a song about the wine that they make in Arizona. Try it. Try it. It is one of the most underrated regions in the United States, if not in the world. Try it now so that when it's popular, you can say, you guys don't know what you were missing. You're late to this train, friend. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's announce the winner. How many folks do we have in here? 65 people. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. You are all the best. So it's going to be one out of 65. We're generating the number now. And I'm going to go up from the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-two, forty-
I will get you your $100 Ariat.com gift certificate. Congratulations, Ruben. Congratulations. Oh, that was so much fun. Whew. All right. We got some time here now. I'm going to play some more music. Thank you, KC, for joining me. This has been a lot of fun. We'll have more giveaways soon. Probably not for a couple weeks, though. You'll see what I have planned within the next week or so for April. <clears throat> but I will have uh, another giveaway towards the end of the month. But for right now, this is the last one for a little bit. So thank you so much for joining me. This has been so much fun. And... I'm going to be doing more live streaming though. So if you want to see me, I'm trying to do like this Facebook takeover tour or Facebook takeover shows. So I'm reaching out to different small businesses and different uh, companies who are trying to do some different things during this shutdown and during this quarantine. And I want to play concerts on their Facebook pages. So I just want to play like an hour or maybe an hour and a half of music. And then encourage people who are on the stream to also support the business. So if you guys know any businesses in your area that could benefit from like a live concert on their Facebook page, they could benefit from something like that. I don't want any money for it. I'm just wanting to actually put it my talents to good use for the small businesses and then also like try to get some tips at the same time so i want to i want to see if that's doable so if you guys know any small businesses in your area that need a little help online to push the current promotion that they're trying to do during this time in order to stay alive reach out to me tell them uh tell them that i'm trying to do something um on the concert level on their pages um to give people a break from all of this and then to also draw more attention to what they're trying to do. So if you guys know anybody, please reach out to me. I've been reaching out to some people already and I do have a couple, a couple or three businesses who are interested, so. It will be a tour, just a matter of how big. So if you know anybody in your area that wants this, please let me know because I want to do it too. Oh, Ray wants to hear Connector? I can do that. Everybody wants to hear Sofa. Hey, it's only like two people. <laughs> two or three. You guys always want to hear the Sofa. You guys always want to hear the sofa. <laughs> Inflatable sofa. Okay, maybe I'll play it. Last song of the stream. Maybe the last song of the stream, okay? <laughs> oh, I also want to play a new song for you guys. After this song, I'll play Connector. Then I'll play the new song. And then I might play The Inflatable Sofa. I'm so glad you guys love that song. It's such a ridiculous song. I'm so glad you love it. It means you're crazy like me. Alright, let's go. This song is called The Connector. trade those who create and those who aid and those who have their name what it is today I know the song I just freaking lost all of the words this happens sometimes like I just completely blank on my own songs it's so embarrassing so embarrassing 
<laughs> it's so embarrassing. This happens. My memory is awful. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jeremiah, you're supposed to be a professional, I thought. <laughs> Brain fart, Ray. <laughs> oh man. That's so funny. I hate when that happens. Take two. trade those who create and those who aid and I know the tune with your name ask me any time of day I know the boot that will fit I know fools who will never quit and I knew them all before they hit it big on page I'm the connector to storytellers, carpenters, and inspectors, and everything in between, but I won't lecture, no, I'm just here to connect, yeah, and then I'll be on my way. Those who've been to other worlds And those who've helped this pale blue pearl Become what it is today I know the partner you need Those who can help you to break free And if you ask how to be like me You know exactly what I'll say I'm the connector to storytellers, carpenters, and specters, and everything in between, but I won't lecture, no, I'm just here to connect you. Tellers, carpenters, and inspectors, and everything in between, but I won't lecture. No, I'm just here to connect you, and then I'll be on my way. The connector. Thank you so much for that suggestion, Ray. Whoo! Ha <laughs> ha! Raymond asked where I got this button up. I don't know. I've had this shirt forever. I've had this shirt forever. I don't know where it's from. <clears throat> I should write a song about the first responders, doctors, nurses, and all of those who still go to work so we can get food, Ray. I should. I will work on that. That is a great idea. I will work on that. <laughs> Appreciate that, Casey. Hit that like button. That's what I'm talking about. What's everybody wearing right now? Boulets. 15. 05s. Peace ostrich. I really like this boot. Here's a new song. <laughs> oh, Rod Patrick, Tacovas, Dukes, 
the drifters barefoot. He already took his boots off after a long day. Ruben, thank you so much. I just saw your email come through. I appreciate it. So, a few months ago, up here in New England, there was this crew going to all of the convenience stores and breaking in professionally. They wouldn't just like break one of the front windows or the door or try to get in like forcefully. They would take tools and take apart the roof like the skylights and slip in through that. And then they would crawl on the floor so that they could, you know, get to the cigarettes so that they didn't activate all the motion detectors. It's pretty, pretty crazy. But they never took any money when they were there. Now the news said that they could get a lot of money for the cigarettes that they stole. But when writing a folk song, you have to always make it a little bit bigger than the truth. I like to think of it as that they were practicing for bigger jobs. Bigger heists. So that they would use all of these advanced techniques on these convenience stores. They were called the Nightcrawler Crew. And they might still be out there. Who knows? So I wrote a song about the Nightcrawler Crew using professional methods to just steal cigarettes kind of like they were practicing for a bigger score like stealing lucases yes it looks like it's just practice as they're crawling across the floor Slipped in through the skylights just to pocket Marlboros. They move so graceful in the night, but leave thousands in the drawer. It's done for the deed and not the dollar. Watch them protect their silhouettes, staying quiet and staying low. Just watch how they move, you can tell they've watched you before. As you watch them on the tape and wonder what they came in for. Looks like it's rehearsal for the Nightcrawlers. Nightcrawler rehearsal is on you. To lack of the percentuals, it's a universal gone through and stealing power. Nightcrawler rehearsal is on you. No need to lack of the percentuals, aiming higher with a thirst for truth. On Nightcrawlers, they only hit a town once. And they're all a different stage Up here in New England There are plenty of places to play You can't even hear the tool bag clink As they make their escape Looking like they hardly caused a bother Someone said it takes 10,000 hours to be an expert at your trade But you have to work smart and you have to work late So it's tough not to wonder what they take when they finally get paid But it's still rehearsal for the Nightcrawlers Nightcrawler rehearsal upon you Nightcrawler rehearsal is 
on you. Corner stores are not the cursed on the fools. The plans are universal, gone through. And stealing power. Nightcrawler rehearsal is on you. No need to lock up the purse and jewels. Aiming higher with a thirst for truth. On Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler Rehearsal. That is a new song. I haven't recorded that anywhere, and I think that's actually like the second or third time I've ever played it live. <laughs> Nightcrawler Rehearsal. Out soon on your favorite streaming platform. Just got to record it. <laughs> Sounds like your youngest son. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> hey, Gunner, how's it going? Chuck Chamberlain is on the Tony Llamas tonight. Thank you, Casey. I appreciate it. Rummage for Riches is here to the end. Here to the end. All right. Thank you, Ray. I appreciate it. Still got a little bit of finessing to do, but I really felt like playing that song right then and there. Appreciate it. Frown Booster. <laughs> Your username is exactly what I need. You just tested positive for the virus. Oh, that is so... Oh, man, I wish you the best, Frown Booster. Frown Booster. Man, I'm wishing you the best. Everybody wish Frown Booster the best in the, in the live chat. He's, he's, got, he's got it. So we gotta... We gotta send him good vibes. Help frown booster boost his frown. Now you can polish all your boots. <laughs> I don't know if you even want to be doing that. Get soon. Get better. Get better soon, man. Mm. That sucks. Hey Dawson, how's it going? Frown Booster, is there a song that you want to hear? What kind of mood do you want to be in? That's what I want to know. I want to play a song for Frown Booster right now. What mood? Funny? Silly? You want to hear Inflatable Sofa like everybody else? <laughs> Booster. What do you want? Viaduct is probably a good one. My mom says I should play you Viaduct. That's probably a good one. It's a good idea. I can't play any I can't play any copyrighted songs. Sorry, Frown Booster. The only thing I can play on my own channel are, are my songs or songs in the public domain. I'm gonna play you this song. I'm gonna play you this song. This is a song about, this song will get your spirits up. Song about feeling on top of the world. And if you're not feeling on top of the world, this song can get you there. It's just one of those. At least it is for me. So I hope it does the same for you, Frown Booster. And Miss Pross said she'd sew a new hand along. I met Ramona in the waiting room and we decided to get lost in the Gamelon. Yes, she took me up to the attic now to tell me more about how she was feeling. And we laughed when I lost 
my shirt and my foot fell to the ceiling to the ceiling now and I wave 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 from above and I wave 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 at you love and I wave 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 from above on the viaduct yeah now I saw blue he was shaking them trees as I was crossing over the interstate. He was done reaching at them prickly pears, finally trying to put on a little winter's weight. Yes, he told me to come stand upon his shoulders, cause the ones at the top are the sweetest, and I know Cause if it goes to waste It was meant to perish And now I make no haste I take a good taste One that I can cherish now One that I can cherish now Yes, alright <laughs> Onlookers can think whatever they please, but to me it feels just as real. Maybe even a little bit better. See, I got no problem with frozen custard meals. No, no. Yes, I probably stay up here quite a bit longer. I'm just liking it this way, and I think. Just fine Staying here the rest of my days Rest of my days I wave, wave, wave From above And I wave, wave, wave At you love And I wave, wave, wave From above on the viaduct Yes, all right Yes, I wave you down no 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 get better soon frown booster get better soon yes so that was viaduct that was viaduct <clears throat> wave 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 Thank you, Frown Booster. Thank you for coming through here. Get better soon. Get better soon, man. Get better soon. Bandit, thank you so much for watching until the end. Thank you, Ray, for joining me. And remember, I will be doing more live streams. They just won't be on YouTube. So keep an eye on some of the other content that I put out. Um, because I'm trying to do more live streams for small businesses and restaurants, wineries, boot stores, any small business that is trying to like run a promotion right now or is looking for those sales and you guys know somebody who needs a little bit of help and is, is, is trying stuff on Facebook, um, I want to help them push the promotions that they're already doing by playing live concerts on their Facebook pages. So if you guys know anybody, please let me know. You can email me at jeremiah.craig at jeremiahcraig.com. Uh, hit me up on Instagram, hit me up on Facebook, anywhere. Um, and just give me a lead, or if you want to copy them in on the email to me, that would be awesome too. Uh, 
just trying to help out the community in any way that I can. And it's always fun to do these and play music. You guys are sending me so much messages and saying, hey, thanks for doing all this stuff uh, because it's like it, it's helping you chill and relax with all the stress around COVID. And I really appreciate those messages. It means a lot to me. And I want to bring that to some more people too. Um, who might not necessarily be into boots. Plus, I'm like running out of ideas to do live streams about. I did not think that this quarantine was going to last this long. So I got to share the love, guys. Got to share the love. You guys are the best, but don't worry because there is going to be a ton of content still on YouTube this coming week. And I will be doing the live stream in the morning on Monday on YouTube as usual for the coffee and music. Thank you, Rick. I appreciate it. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. I will see you guys around. Um, thank you. And I will get all of the giveaways out on Monday. So if you haven't gotten yours yet, it's probably because it's still here and I haven't made my way down to the post office quite yet. But I will on Monday because I am, I'll be done for the giveaways until the end of April probably. So thank you so much stay happy healthy and smart out there and frown booster please get better soon i'll see you guys around peace and enjoy the rest of your weekend thank you for joining me tonight